Hey Dribbler, Manny here. So today I've got for you the top five Leo Messi's body feints. Those body feints are very effective to do on the football pitch, but they're also very quick to do. So if you lack any of those and you want to add them to your game, I will show you how to do them. The first step, you should do a forward body fence, not to mix up with a sideways body fence. Step number two, outside cut backwards. This cut shouldn't be really one, but more of a drag back, where you don't chop the ball, but more drag it towards you with the outside of your foot. Step number three, you should do an inside touch to push the ball forward. Make sure to push it far enough so you can accelerate away. Together, it looks like this. For the first step, you shouldn't drive the ball directly at your opponent, but more slightly towards one side, so it will move in the same direction. By moving in the same direction, it will be wrong-footed when you will change yours. The step number two is to do a fake touch, which you will use to make your opponent believe that you will keep driving the ball in the same direction. For the step number three, just after performing the fake touch, you have to do a forward body feint which will greatly emphasize the previous steps and which will deceive the defender even more. The fourth step is an outside cut done to one side. Make sure to also jump slightly to proper view. The fifth and last step is an outside or outside forward touch to get away. Together, it should look like this. The first step is that the ball has to be rolling in front of you. The speed at which it goes is not really important, but the direction is. To realize this combo perfectly, the ball should be rolling straight ahead of you. Step number two, you have to do a feint as if you wanted to push the ball with the inside of your strong foot straight in front of you. Make sure to not touch the ball. Also, pay attention to the position of the standing foot, which is important to fake the defender even more. For the step number three, just after you've done the feint with your strong foot, you should do another one, but this time with your standing foot. The feint with your standing foot will enable you to emphasize the previous one and deceive the defender even more. Make sure to do it also with your upper body and not only with your legs. Doing these two feints quickly without touching the ball will give you a sort of double feint which is nearly impossible to stop. For the fourth and last step, you should do a forward touch to definitely get past your opponent who has probably been fooled by one of the two feints. All steps together should look like this. For the step number one, you will lift your strong foot as if you wanted to push the ball with the inside and you should also do this feint with your upper body. For the second step, you have to emphasize this combo by doing a body feint to the side with your standing foot. And finally, for the third and last step, at the same time that you have done the feint with your standing foot, 
you have to do a nighttail cut forward at 45 degrees. It is really important to do it at the same time, otherwise the combo will not be as effective. Together, it looks like this. The first step is to be moving towards the defender. Whether it is slowly, jogging or even sprinting, it is important that you are moving when you are doing this fence because it uses your momentum. For the step number two, you should be doing a fence with your strong foot as if you wanted to push the ball with the inside. To do this fence perfectly, it is important that your standing foot be close to the ball. Step number three. While doing the first feint, you should emphasize it by doing another feint, but this time with your standing foot. Make sure to do it with your upper body too, and not only the legs, so the defender really believes you're going this way. And finally, for the step number 4, you should do an outside forward cut to definitely get rid of your opponent who has probably went the other way. Done like Leo, it should look like this. So that's it for this video about Leo Messi top 5 body fence. If you like it, you can go and watch this one here, which is about the top 5 exercises to help you change direction. As you know, Leo Messi is one of the best players on the planet to change direction whenever he wants. And those exercises there will help you achieve that. So go and check this out. Uh, this will help you improve your game. Otherwise, I thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.